We're only a few days into the five rings of fascism known as the Olympics. But many are already asking the question, are they worth all this trouble? All the preparation and money that goes into sponsoring the Olympics. I'll be the first one to admit, it's, it's phenomenal. I love seeing the athletes perform at top-notch abilities. It's incredible. But one thing I have to face is that this really is all about the New World Order. This is about Apollo, the destroyer. And here he is, once again, in another photo. In other photos, we've shown that the horses have been pulling the sun god, Apollo the Destroyer. Apollo the Destroyer is Helios, as well as Alexander the Great. They're basically the same face, the same individual, Satan, Lucifer, Apollo the Destroyer in Revelations. The evil elites are trying to basically say that Jesus had offspring and that they're the royal blood of Jesus, the house of David. Now we all know this is a bunch of BS and lies and we love to expose the badges of fraud because that's all it really is. However, like the Olympics, they try to portray the Olympics as peace, prosperity, and the phenomenal of human beings that give all their all in a competition event. But really, behind all of this is a facade. It's all fraud. This is about beefing up a military, one world order. One world religion, one world bank, all set up for the Antichrist. And by participating in the Olympics, they spent $31 billion on the event with security and their military police force, which is basically there to set up the Antichrist. So don't be fooled. They're bloody brilliant with their plans. We can still appreciate athleticism and phenomenal individuals. But never forget, like one of the individuals, a downhill skier, now has broken her back, severe spinal cord damage. And who knows if she'll recuperate. This little Russian girl is going to need all the prayers in the world and the best doctors in the world to help her recuperate. As well as the others that now have had head concussions. These shows are basically for the evil elites. And at one time in college I had a professor who basically said the NFL was for the evil elites. And I didn't really understand it at the time because we were talking about African Americans and the equality and I felt like they were multimillionaires and that it shouldn't really be an issue. But she said that it was for white America. But I really think what she meant was it was for these evil elites because all of the NFL is controlled by the Illuminati and the games are rigged. It's just been exposed about the Australian tennis teams. They were taking bribes and we've exposed many boxing events and baseball events that were rigged. So we need to just focus in on how much money is actually contributing to these games and alter, alter, altering the outcome of the games for the benefit of these evil elites. They're not just about power, money, and greed. It's about soul murdering. They have a lot of money, trillions of dollars. Dominate, manipulate, and control. It's a form of witchcraft. 
And if they can't get us demon possessed through drugs and alcohol and music and selling your soul out for Satan to make a platinum album or acting or an almost human NFL or baseball player. They have a lot of tricks in their bags and we just need to be aware. And anyways, I'd like you to read this article about the bloodline. I, I think it's very important and uh, just take it into consideration and, and then uh, I'll post the link below.